Hey y'all, this is my second time recording this um video. Y'all see my boo-boo head back there? <laughs> so anyways, um this is liquid diet day. What is it? Nine? Nine, y'all. And I did great. Only thing I didn't get is much protein as I should have gotten today. And um I'll be alright. I'm going to try to get some more protein. At, I know it's like 9.39 at night. And I did not take my vitamins either today. I'm going to take them. Because I want to see if I can crush them. Or do I need to go buy some. Um, I guess. What do you call it? Uh, sublingual or chewable tablet. I'm eating my clear jello. Go get your pajamas on first. What are you doing, Mom? None of your business. A video? None of your business. Go put on your pajamas. Kids, so daggone nosy. So anyway, I went to the anesthesiology, got everything straightened out. They asked me a few questions and took some blood. Which she put this gray big tape that I never had a big tape like that on. And after getting blood drawn. And y'all, I got hair on my arms. I don't know if y'all can see it. But I'm scared to take it off just because she did that. It's crazy. Ouch. And then on my skin where there's no hair at, it still hurt. Crazy. And it's sticky. Real sticky. But anyway, um. What else? And I went to my doctor for my pre-op appointment. And my final pre-op we talked about, which is the same thing we talked about and um with the um anesthesiology. She asked a couple questions about did I drink am I my alcohol do I drink, do I take outside drugs and stuff like that, you know the usual. And the doctor in the last appointment before surgery he um, basically just touched bases on everything, me being on the liquid diet, a high protein liquid diet, and um, clear liquids, which I've been, so they don't, so they can do liposcopically surgery on me, um, instead of having to cut me open, you know, so, which I know he gonna do liposcopic, because I've been following my diet, I cheated one time, and that was way earlier, and I know that I'll be fine, my liver should have shrank. I lost 10 pounds for sure. I went there and they said I was, um, one, I mean, 263. So, yeah. Um, what else? Well, my scale is two pounds lighter. Um, had me two pounds lighter than their scale because my scale, um, I do, I stand on it with barely no clothes on. I stand on that scale. I got on a big heavy sweater and big heavy jeans. So even my fiance asked why didn't they take two pounds off for the clothes, but they don't, which is no big deal. Um, so I'm probably really uh, um, it said 263. So on my scale, I should be 261. Yeah, 261. And even what your weight. Your clothes has weight to it, so in real, in actuality, you're supposed to subtract a pound or two from the scale, and that's what they're supposed to do, but they don't do. You hear? Them? <laughs> anyway, yeah, because you got on heavy jeans and heavy sweater, jewelry. Because your clothes has weight. Yeah, this stuff got weight. Even when we on a wee fit boy. It even says the same thing, you know, it's a track too. It asks you, do you have on light clothes? And I usually when I get on a Wii Fit ball, I don't have on heavy clothes. And my weight that I get on the Wii Fit and the weight that I get on my scale at home is the same. They both match. Um, so I know that it's too bad. It don't even matter, you know. But it give, don't make us a difference. It make a difference, but I know what I am. <laughs> So anyway, there. Okay, so we said I lost ten pounds. We talked about the protein. Oh, and um, they also asked did I, did I finish my last tests, which they should have seen 
on the paperwork that I did my EKG and my chest x-ray and blood work. Anybody that's doing this weight loss surgery, do your tests as soon as possible. The only one they make you wait on is that chest x-ray because they like it close the time but do it as soon as possible and the minute they tell you to take their chest that's where go in there like the next day so you don't have all that stuff to deal with like me because I hear people the last week they dealing with all this stuff not me mm -mm. I only had to go to my pre-op appointment and the anesthesiology then we talked about um, following um, prescriptions are to be taken Post surgery, which is the lab knock, and that's the needle, the syringe medicine that you take the night before surgery for blood clots, and you got to take it after. I think I'm not sure how long I let y'all know, and um, the and make sure I have my chewable liquid tablets and stuff like that, which I'm gonna take care of tomorrow because all my tablets are um, I gotta swallow and they hold, but I'm gonna see if I can crush. The ones that I have. See if I can crush them. And. Um, what else? Okay so yeah. And lab knock start the night before surgery. That's the needle. And you got to do it from the belly down. Um, they prefer not the belly really. Because it leaves bruises. And you got to get surgery there. So they prefer you put in a thigh or the butt. Um, you can do it. Or someone you know can do it for you and then they have the high blister which is the body wash that you use four days before which I they tell you just wash the front area from like the shoulder down to the um, thigh but I probably do the whole body you know because I have enough to do the whole body so I'll do the whole body just to make sure um nice that and you gotta swish that around in your mouth <clears throat> and then swallow and it's not pleasant they said so that's to keep infections down out of the throat area and the mouth area the raglan that's for reflux that has to be taken the night before um surgery and the pepsi that's the for gas, anti-gas. Of course, you know, I know y'all heard on here a lot that people have gas after surgery. I guess it would help. So, I have to take that. And then the Prilosec and the Tylenol with coating or after surgery. And then it says, if you use CPAP machine, bring it, which I don't. And nothing to eat after midnight before. So, that's basically what I'm... We talked about okay, and um, yeah, that's basically it. And I want the other forms I talked about in my early videos. Oh, I have enough just the pre op from the anesthesiologist, the paper she gave me. I can see, um, okay, and that's just talking about basically the same thing and when you go to NC Valley like I said they ask you questions about you and did you take do you take street drugs and stuff like that so yeah and I think that's it oh and my honey found me a new liquid to drink um and that's uh wonton soup without the noodle without the noodle we um actually he wanted he went to a Chinese slash sub shop and I was hungry too and there was nothing that we can think of. We looked everywhere for me to have and we went to the sub shop and we got the wonton soup without the noodles because it's clear broth. So, and it was delicious. It was nice to have something different. Um, I thought it was chicken noodle, ch not chicken noodle, chicken broth, but it has a um, Asian taste to it. So, that was nice to have something different. And right now I need my, my jello. So yeah, I did pretty good and um my son is tearing up the house, so I gotta go. Um y'all have a blessed night and I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. And thanks for all y'all support and love. Bye.